Well, this is a very important site in California. It's one of the very early adobes. It dates to either the late Spanish or early Mexican period, all the way up until the early American period. And this property was actually held within the family until uh, 1978, when the National Trust acquired it. So it's a kind of a rare example of a, an intact um, adobe site in downtown Monterey. And there's numerous features related to the people who lived in the adobes or worked in the corner store. We're hoping to learn more about the people who lived here. We know about them from the historic record, but finding these kinds of features allows us to figure out what they were eating and what their children were playing with and what their daily habits were like. You know, finding things like remnants of a well that tells us about how the property was used over time. Well, they just found the remnants of a horse in one of the trenches. Um, there was a butcher on site in, at the corner store at some point, and so they would cast off whatever bits and pieces of the animals they didn't want to consume. And so we have found like intact legs, jaws, the non-appetizing parts of the animals. Um, we've also found a lot of ceramics representative of all different kinds of eras, you know, English, Mexican, Spanish. Um, Honoré Escarole had his kiln up at the Stokes Adobe and at one point sold his pots in the corner store. So we are find, you know, finding things that could be related to that. We found a clay doll body that had been hand molded and the fingerprint of the person who made it is inside the mold. You know, we're, we're processing a lot of the, the soils now and seeing the things that are coming out. So, you know, really it's about learning about the people who lived here in the 1800s.